I've got my trusted Sony ZV-E10 here with uh, Sigma 30 millimeters. 1.4 so Sony 30 millimeter 1.4 got about 30 minutes before I get to work the time is 20 minutes to 9 so I thought to take some pictures before I get to work Say, okay, good. And, uh, it's rush hour. It's only rush hour. It's got a lot of people standing around waiting for the bus. Hey, bro. Uh, no, not really. Just straight. <laughs> Thank you. It's rush hour. The sun is not even up yet. Today's well, the sun is up, but it's quite cloudy. I want to take pictures of people taking the crosswalk. Let's see if I can still catch this last question. There's some sort of mirror here. I think I may be able to take a picture using this mirror. But I need someone to walk. I need to set my focus then uh, I just wait. let's wait and see just to focus <laughs> Oh, I missed that, actually. Okay, this angle is not really on point for the kind of shots I'm looking for. So I'll move on. And that's the CN Tower. Oh, boy. Yo. As immigrants in Canada, we usually kind of look for opportunities to restart our career, start something different, do something different. <laughs> and Canada gives you that opportunity, really. You can be whatever you want to be. And every day you wake up here, you think you have the option to, you know, get out there and get something done. I'm gonna take a picture of this. <laughs> this is a lion. Yeah, but there's a car behind it. So, same material, yuck. Oh, this is, a, this is a hotel, right? Downtown Trino. There's another one here. There's a woman walking into my frame. Okay, she's gone now. Here's another view of the CN Tower.
Okay, this car is blown out. Kind of overblown in my shot. Gonna adjust shutter speed and my F stop. Let's see. Yeah. I'm taking the long <laughs> route to work this morning just because I want to take these pictures. <laughs> Building a hobby can actually be tasking, you know. Okay, there's a view of the CN Tower on the roof of a, of a building here. I really wish I used, thinking I should actually change my lens to the, to my zoom lens, but. One thing I've learned from hundreds of YouTube videos that I've watched about photography in the last few months is to kind of use your legs <laughs> as zoom. And I also want to enjoy the speed of this Sigma lens to prime lens, you know, so my watch has just asked me to enter a walking mode. We discovered that I've been work walking. So this is York and University. I'm going to take a picture of this installation, this art installation. Oh, that's too dark. Okay. I'll use this flowers foreground my shots but there are too many vehicles in front of the art installation i'll just wait while i wait let me take pictures of people crossing at the crosswalk i'll wait for the for that truck to move out of view so i can get a better shot of that You know, I'm a black person and it amazes me when people look at me, you know, taking pictures, especially when I'm in Toronto downtown. I guess a lot of people think, oh, this guy, he doesn't have a job. Why is he taking pictures? Why is he taking pictures early in the morning instead of being at work? But the weather is really nice today. It's just one degree this morning, one degree centigrade. And I'm not even wearing a, uh, meetings with a glove on my trigger hand. <laughs> Last time I took some pictures around here, I was wearing gloves because it was really cold. I almost lost my lost my fingers. Let's take another shot of the CN Tower because why not? And if you're watching this and you think I can actually do better, like if you have uh, tips for me, 
feel free to drop them in the comment section below. <laughs> I'll be glad to take tips on how to be better at taking photos. This is Wellington Street West. I have a picture I took of this um, bikes some months ago. Yeah, or weeks. I'll see if I can recreate that picture. That car is in my frame. Oh, thank you for moving out of frame. Thank you. No, I can't. It's still in my frame, though. <laughs> Let's put everything in focus. Um, yeah. I'll move back a bit. Yeah, zooming out with <laughs> with my legs. That car is still in focus. It's still in my frame, but let's see if I can get him out. Let's take another one for this set of bikes here. Okay, because I want to have just the logo in focus, I'm going to reduce my so I can have that background blur. Pictures of um, bike racks actually really look good because of the geometry, right? So I'm going to find one like this one. Let's see what we can find, what we can get. Let's have them all in focus. Like um, F stop nine. I'm going to take another one. I like when I come to downtown Toronto, how I find art installations everywhere. Like this set of, <laughs> what are these, cows? I need that background blow, so I'm going to bring my f-stop down. Focus on only this. So, I'm sure I'm going to have someone around here looking like, why is this guy walking around and just taking pictures? Does he not have a job? <laughs> Oh, well, I do have a job and I'm heading there right now. I just need to check the map to see if I'm on. Yeah, I think I'm already on the streets to my office right now. This is King Street and this street has. Oh, I got it. <laughs> street cars. That's what we call trams in Toronto or in Canada. I don't know if anywhere else calls it street cars, but that's what we call them. And there's one coming slowly. I'm going to rest by this and take a quick shot of it. Got it.
Another one. Oh, I didn't get that shot. I am. King Street is one of the major streets in Toronto. And where you find a lot of um, headquarters for Canadian banks. So if you are a newcomer, an immigrant in Canada, and you like to work in the financial sector, it's an interesting um, area. Got people returning their bikes. We got some people actually waiting to return the bikes. Let's put all kinds of shows. Um, two of the major options for transit in downtown Toronto. You know, bikes and streetcar. <laughs> I'm going to put up some other pictures that I've taken around this area into this video. Yes, I'd like to end the video right now. Um, actually, almost late to work now, and I need to walk faster. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to put down some comments. What do you think about the pictures? And do not forget to like if you actually enjoy this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.